Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be speaking about single camera production. A single camera production is a piece of media that is shot with a single camera. Here are some examples of different types of single camera productions. Coronation Street, which is a TV drama. Blue Planet, which is a documentary. John Lewis, which is an advert. The Weeknd, False Alarm, which is a narrative based music video. And a corporate and promotional video, which is how to be safe in a workplace. They all use single camera production. Even though that there are many different types of camera productions, they also all have different types of purposes. For example, Coronation Street's purpose is supposed to be relatable to everyday life, whereas the purpose of Blue Planet is to inform and educate the viewer watching, watching the show. It is to show how wildlife works. However, the purpose of the John Lewis advert is to persuade the viewer watching, whereas the, full, whereas the weekend false alarms purpose is to entertain the viewer, however, to be how to be safe in a workplace the purpose is to educate and inform and warn the viewer of dangers in a workplace. Even though there are different types of single camera productions, there are also different platform screenings for single camera productions. Here are some examples I have found. Television, cinema, interactive digital platforms and film festivals. All of these have examples inside of them. For example, television has BBC One, a cinema, Southend, On the Sea, Odeon, interactive digital platforms, BBC iPlayer, and film festivals could be BFI, London Film Festival. Each of these platforms have benefits and disadvantages to them. For example, televisions are easy to access easy to access than film festivals and cinemas, however the disadvantage to televisions is you need a TV license and actually have to own a TV. However, cinemas allow you to see the movie that have just been that has just been released in high quality, however they can be expensive for certain seats. Using interactive platforms allows the user to pick when and what they want to watch, however however some programs are only on for a couple of weeks and are taken down. And finally, film festivals, they allow new faces to make it into the film industry. However, at film festivals, the age ranges from children to adult. And in certain films, they may show violence that may have negative effects towards children. Some of the key benefits and limitations to using single cameras is that it is a lot cheaper as you don't have to pay out for lots of different cameras. However, it reduces what you can do as you cannot get as many angles. Another advantage of using single cameras is that you only need one person so you don't have to pay multiple people, however the process will take longer as there is less people. In the media industry there are many different types of shot types, for example establishing shots, this type of shot is usually an extreme shot at the beginning of a scene indicating where and when the rest of the scene takes place. Another example for a different shot type is a master shot. In this shot type it keeps all the characters in view. It is often a long shot. A master shot is usually used when a scene has been dramatised. Here is another example that I have found. It is called a tracking shot. This is where a camera will move alongside the object that is supposed to be f being filmed. The camera is usually placed on top of a cam camera's dolly and is then put onto a railway railroad track to allow the camera to be pushed along. The final shot type that I have found is a cutaway shot. This type of shot is used to interrupt a, part, interrupt a part of a film and show a completely different part of the film. When carrying out my research further I found out about different types of shot framing. Here are a few examples that I have found, for example, wide shots. This is a type of shot is also used as a long shot, however a wide shot can either remove or add ambiguity. Another example I have found is a mid shot. This type of shot is a medium shot and allows the viewer to capture the character's emotion. This is why it is used as used often as it remains close enough to capture emotion. While looking through shot framing, I found that a two shot is another example for a shot framing. Is another example for shot framing. This is the shot is where two people appear in one scene. However, they will not be facing one and other, but will be facing the audience. Another example that I have found is a medium close-up. This type of shot is a mix of a close-up shot and a medium shot. However, it is a bit of both in it, has a bit of both in it, as it is only it only reveals little of the surroundings, 
but also shows the facial expressions of the character. When looking at a medium close up, I came across close up shots, which is another example for shoot shot framing. A close up shot is a shot that uses the character's face, which is very close to the camera, making it so you can only see his face and very little surroundings. Another example that I have found is an extreme close up shot. This type of shot is hard to reveal emotion, but but this depends on how dramatic a scene is. A, PO, a POV shot is another type of shot framing. A POV shot is another type of shot framing. A POV shot is a first person point of view and lets you see what the character is seeing. Another example of sh for shot framing is the raw for it the raw third. This is to draw the viewer's eye away from the centre of the picture. An over shoulder shot is a third person shot from another person's shoulder while they are looking at the same someone or something. Another example of a shot framing shot is the free angle shot. It is used for recording characters from the waist down or up. Another example I've found is the 180 degree rule. This is when two characters are looking at each other by having the camera at this 180 degree point. The first character will always frame right of the second character. A shot reverse shot is when one character is speaking to another character, however one is off screen and the other one is not. Once the first character is done speaking, the second character will appear on the screen. Shot composition is the frame of an image. It also has elements of mise and scene. Mise and sin appear. Composition must be monitored. Frame. Shot composition is the frame of an image. It also has elements of mise and sin appear. Compositions must be monitored. Framing is the process of making a compos composition. Framing is also to focus attention to certain events. Camera angles are important for making films as it allows you to create views and emotions from the way you are looking. For example, an, an eye level angle is when the camera is facing the character at an eye level height. Another example that I found is a bird's eye view angle. This type of angle is shot from above the characters. This allows you to see how things in the scene relate to each other. A high angle shot is from above and will usually make anything below look weaker and less powerful. A low angle shot is where the camera will point up to someone. This will usually make the character, character look bigger and stronger. A Dutch tilt shot is usually a shot which is slanted to one side. This shot is used for dramatic effect. Camera movement. A handheld camera is a camera that is that a person will hold while they are filming or recording. A shoulder mount is a piece of equipment that will allow a camera to be mounted on top of a person's shoulder, allowing them to carry around the camera. A steady cam is a piece of equipment that goes around your waist like a belt to stabilize the camera to give you the best shot. A track piece is a, a track is a piece of equipment that is used to place a camera on top and allows the camera to move along with the object object that is moving. A dolly is a piece of equipment that is placed on top of the track to allow the camera to move up and down its work down. It works like a train. A jib is a piece of equipment that is like a crane. It holds the camera in high places in which people can't usually get to. Dollying is when the camera is placed on a mobile platform and can be moved from different points. Tra different points. Tracking is similar to dollying as they as they both use platforms that allow them to move around. A panning shot is a shot where you follow the object that you are filming. A zooming shot is when the camera zooms into an object or character to get a better view or to show emotion. A dolly zoom is where the camera will zoom into an object or someone and either dollies away or towards in a way to keep the same size frame. A focus puller is a camera assistant who will monitor the focus of each shot and scene. One way to maintain continuity is by ensuring consistent scene setups between takes and shots. For example, to maintain continuity throughout filming, you must keep the same consistency when filming. You can't skip certain parts, otherwise the viewer will see it. To ensure consistent lighting, you must make sure you have all the correct lighting. You don't want to film in the sun and then film later if, film later if it rains, as they act as two different settings and the viewer will see it. 
so having the correct lighting is key to keep continuity consistent. Using tripods to ensure shot stability and consistent positioning will help maintain continuity as if the camera is in a forward facing position for the scene and then it is at a slant the positioning of the scene is incorrect. The stability of the tripod is key as if there are any slight shakes in the ground this can cause the camera to go out of focus. In this part I am analysing a film, a music video and a TV show. The music video that I am analysing is the we is False Alarm by The Weeknd which is a narrative based music video. The techniques used in this music video are a POV, sh POV shot and a medium close up. The techniques were used to make it feel as if you were doing the crime of, of robbing the bank. The POV technique allows you to see first person what a bank robber is put, in, is put through. It also allows you to see the emotion of what the hostage is going through one to one. The medium close up shot allows the viewer to see the emotion of what the girl is going through. The drawbacks of using a POV shot is that they can look boring and clumsy if they're not well executed. However, the benefits of using a POV shot allow you to see everything for what they see. Another benefit that a POV shot has is that it can get loads of different angles from low to high, making it so different characters look either strong or weak, depending on what the angle of the person is standing in. The impact on the audience is that it allows them to see a lot of emotion throughout the whole music video. Another imp impact that it has on the audience is that it makes you part of the video as it is a POV type of shot so whenever a character addresses the person holding the camera it makes it look like they are trying to talk to you as you cannot see the person he is actually talking to. The techniques which we use throughout the music video to make it stand out from every other music video, for example the use of POV shots, this gives you a different view and perspective of what is going on and what is happening. It also allows emotion to be seen a lot more easier as other characters are faced directly looking at you throughout the music video, giving the viewer a feeling of responsibility. Another reason for the PO why the POV shot was used in the music video was that it allows you to get lots of different angles. For example, the, ver the first scene of the music video, they are standing up at an eye level shot and running about. However, later on, the getaway van crashes leaving the characters laying on the ground looking up at you. The equipment needed to film this music video is called a POV rig. This equipment is a mask that holds on holds a camera above the mouth giving you a POV shot. The design of the mask is to keep the video camera in position while you record certain parts of the video. In this narrative based music video the bank robbers signify as danger and, f and fear as they are robbing a bank and are killing innocent people. They spread fear by having guns and shooting them. The video takes... In this narrative based music video, the bank robbers signify as danger and, f and fear as they are robbing a bank and are killing innocent people. They spread fear by having guns and shooting them. The video takes... The techniques used in this part of the video are a close-up shot. This has been done to show the emotion of the character sitting in the car. However, this shot is, taken, is then taken to a medium shot, allowing you to see the surroundings. This shot is then closely followed by a shallow focus shot. This shot zooms into a footprint of a T-Rex with water in it and allows you to see the reflection of the character that is, up, that is out of focus and then comes back into focus. After this shallow focus shot, they use a tracking zoom shot, which leads all the way back to the character in the car. Once all the characters, in, characters enter the vehicle, they are chased by a T-Rex. While being chased by the T-Rex, they use a POV shot to give you a perspective of the T-Rex chasing the characters. The POV shot is a, also a high shot, making the characters look weak and powerless. Another technique they have used throughout the film is, a, is an over the shoulder shot allowing you to see what the character is seeing. The drawbacks of using close up shots is that if, they, if the character does not produce enough emotion the viewer will not be able to gain any type of understanding on what is going on. However the benefits of using close up shots if done correctly can show lots of different emotion and can tell the viewer what they are going through. 
The impact on the audience is that it will show them lots of emotion as throughout this short clip there are lots of different types of camera angles and techniques. For example, the close-up shots will give lots of emotion due to the fact that there is only one thing that can be seen. This will give information to the viewer, allowing them to know if something bad is going to happen or if something good will happen just by judging his emotion. The techniques used throughout the film make it stand out from many from many other films purely for its variety of camera angles shot and shots types used. For example they use a tracking sh tracking POV shot type when being chased by a T Rex. This allows used to be allows you to be in the perspective of the T Rex and lets us see what the T Rex is chasing. The equipment that would be would have been used while filming this scene for this part of the movie is a miniature railway track to follow the car making the tracking shot. At the start of the video the at the start of the video clip the close up shot is recorded by a handheld camera due to you can see the camera moving and shaking in this film the t-rex signifies fear and danger as it will eat anyone or thing in its pathway this is why the characters see, are seen running away from it all the time some characters in the films some characters in the film signify certain types of emotion and actions for example jeff goldblum who plays Ian Malcolm is seen to be frightened and scared when the T-Rex is gaining on them. However, Bob Peck, who is who plays Robert Mould, is seen to be calm and focused on getting them away from the T-Rex. The TV show that I've been analysing is Friends. The techniques that have been used in this episode of Friends is a medium long shot, allowing you to see the surroundings, which allows the viewer to see where the characters are and what type of environment they are in. However, it lets you see some emotion on the character's face. After this shot they are followed up by a medium shot which allows you to see facial expressions and emotion, emotions a lot better. Once both characters finish at the desk, of the hotel they they use a tracking shot to follow both characters to a chair this is then followed by a jump shot the drawbacks of using a tracking shot is that you'll need some type of stabilization due to the fact that the cameras will be moving as once a camera is moved out moved it has the chance of going out of focus and making the picture blurred which will make the recording look funny however an advantage of, advantage of using a tracking shot is that it involves the audience as they are following the characters as well as the cameras the impact on the audience from the techniques used in this TV show will be that they will be able to see and feel emotion from the characters due to the medium shots f used throughout the video. They will also feel they are involved due to the tracking shot as both viewer and camera are following the same thing at once. The equipment needed to shoot this TV show is a steady cam and a set of tracks. This is for the tracking shot as if you do not have a steady cam the shot will go out of focus. You will need the tracks to allow the camera to move with the character. In this TV show, Monica signifies anger and frustration. This is because when she gets to the desk at the hotel, her facial expressions and emotion allow us to see and give us an idea on how she is thinking and feeling. However, Chandler signifies being happy and calm as when he reaches the front desk at the hotel, his facial expressions and emotion tell us that.